Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 16 by 20 inch canvas and fading light and desire to use some black satin enamel that I just bought. That's not it. That's my half artist loft and half, half semi-gloss from Walmart. It doesn't look like there's really enough there. It does look like I can use my OXO armlet turning spatula to see any kind of anomalous lumps and pull them out, which is pretty good. I'm just gonna, I've got some tweezers for that. <laughs> Yay, I finally found my tweezers. Ooh, the temperature just dropped like five degrees. It's cold here in Florida right now, 50 something. Very cold after you're used to sweltering most of the year. But I like the way paint moves when it's cold as opposed to warmer. I have a lot more control when the paint is drying slower and moving slower. And that was enough paint. I'm not going to worry about my edges now because I'm going to probably use an edge catcher, not that one. <laughs> that one is spent. I've just been doing some other, some scapey things. And now I'm going to do whatever I want which means I'm going to wipe off that spatula in case I decide I want it for something because the other two are in the bucket. I'm going to take that away for the moment, bring back my cup of what's left of desert colors. I'm going to put colors I like in there right now. I'm going to find my black satin enamel which is right there. It's a folk art satin enamel. And I'm going to give myself ultimate permission to do whatever I want, including finding the white. Where is the white? I think I kind of want some of that. Yeah, I do. And what else? I've got some folk art turquoise that's very similar to that. Very similar, in fact. I would like to find my white satin enamel just to find out what it's going to do. And that's metallic from Anita's. All right, well, when I ran out of satin enamel, I used gloss. So I've got gloss from Folk Art, which worked just fine, except for it just sank there. Crazy. And whatever else, whatever colors I want, I will put in. I really, really want to do what I did already the other day, which is to grab a shovel and maybe just one more dose of that white enamel at the top. Move my paint out of the way. And if I don't like how this works, I will do something else. I need something to rest my shovel in. Anything will do. And I want gold in the bottom because I really like the way that works. So I'm just going to pour some of my colors right on top of that gold. Bring my canvas back. Get rid of my little rest, hopefully without spilling anything. I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Ooh, first I'm going to grab the tweezers and take that thing I can see in the bottom of my shovel out, please. Yes. Then I'm going to use my number one Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to shimmy most of that color out of there. And see if I want some more. I want some more gold in there. I want some more white in there. I want some more purple in there. I want it all. So I'm going to float that white satin enamel on the surface and then I'm going to add some of the folk art neon multi-surface acrylic on top of it. And I really want some of that blue too. You know what? I'm going to have it. I kind of want some copper in there. So we'll see if I put that in in a second. I want some blue as well. I 
want more of that blue. It's actually the um, the Folk Art Color Shift Turquoise. I have a nice blue though. I'm not sure who makes it. <laughs> but I want some of that turquoise right now. I like little dribbles. I like ribbon dribbles. I want to save a little bit of paint, and that brown is kind of weird because I'm not used to it, but um, it still looks okay. So I didn't use my shovel again, and I have some paint in there, and I do need an edge catcher. And I want to decide right now if I want some more orange, and I kind of do. And I want to give myself some play time. Wow! <laughs> okay, that definitely came out in a hurry. All right, so every once in a while I gotta throw a little experiment in there, and that's cool! I guess I'm done! <laughs> no, not really. But um, I am gonna go ahead and see what happens when I move this interesting mass of paint around. And if I find that I like something, a lot. I may stop because I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes. I like the gold. I love the purple. As long as that purple is with white, you have a very good chance of being able to keep it. Probably should have hit it with a torch right off the bat a little bit. I'm going to do it. I'm doing whatever I want. Because anything headed that way is probably going to swallow some of it. Anyway, but I've got some nice cells forming from the different enamels right here. I'm trying to remember where I see the thing that needs to come out. Time to clean the tweezers off, I think. <laughs> now, I see all that and I like all that. And I'm going to give myself the option to put some more colors close by. I'm going to move the mass of my paint down to the center. I'm still liking what I'm seeing and I still haven't run any paint off the edge which is miraculous. That's one of the things I really like about the satin enamel. Not just that it makes these incredible cells in here and in here, but the fact that I can actually do some very interesting things as far as watching where the paint is flowing and bending it to my will a little bit. That is a flimsy edge catcher. Edge catchers, this plastic sheet I'm using, mine in particular, come from Artist Loft value package 16 by 20 inch canvases as a protective layer on the front. I'm going to take that paint off that edge catcher and use it back in the composition right here. Try my left handed skills. My leg as the paint builds up on my pants, I have a, an easier place to wipe off my pants. Wipe off my spatula, yeah, okay. So, a little more white gloss enamel from Folk Art. Yeah, that was interesting. That was everybody's interesting as it sounded. <laughs> it went all over like four bottles of paint. I really want some more of that purple. I do. Why can't I have it? <laughs> Come out! All right. I'm not sure what this is going to be like. <laughs> it's looking pretty, pretty radically strange right at this moment. 
Not like anything else I've ever seen. But when you add new fresh paint to paint that's already been tipped, tipped. <laughs> yeah, first day with my new tongue. Uh, you get all kinds of new patterns forming as you tilt. And I kind of like all of that happening. And I'm going to let it run right down the side and rock my edge catcher repeatedly. And then I'm going to move it down, all the way down, so I have that edge covered. And the one thing that I don't like is that right there. So I'm going to add some black back to it. And then I have to decide what else I want to do pretty quickly, in fact, because my sun is fading. And uh, I see something in there again. So when you add fresh paint, as I mentioned, you can flow everything. I'm kind of losing some of my cells. It's a long, slow tip, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. I don't hate it. I do want some orange over there. I do want this paint off of here too. Take some of the paint on this corner that you probably can't see and use my thumb. And I like the black negative space on the other side. I don't mind flowing some of this off at all. Or spreading it out a bit. Or even going in the opposite direction. Yes, I did. Let all that run that way. Put a big zigzag into things. I got three minutes left. If I let this frame up a little bit, I could probably put a balloon in. Wow, that's that's intense. I kind of like that. I'm gonna throw a little bit of black along this edge right now, so I have a chance to cover it and let the paint the paint that's there blend in with the paint I'm adding. I don't have much left in my cup, but I have something. I have enough to do something with, and I'm going to do it by using my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula, which is my number one with the flat front tip. And you can find both the OXO Omelette Turning Spatula, that one, and the Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas, like that, on the Amazon link, under show more, underneath the video. I've got some interesting paint on my edge catcher and I want to put it somewhere. I'm not sure that was the most interesting, <laughs> but it's still interesting. Some of that'll go up there. The rest of that will go over here. Cover my edge. That zigzag is pretty intense. It really, really is. Very interested in seeing if I can spread that out a little bit. In the opposite direction by adding paint.
It's a very abstract process, this. That's cool. <laughs> I love it. I'm having a good time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for almost 85,000 subscribers. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. I really need that. Thank you for watching the videos longer. It's the one thing that will keep me making videos for you here on YouTube. Thank you for the wonderful comments you give me all the time to keep my morale up. I really appreciate that. That's necessary. Um, if you're interested in buying or making a purchase or buying a piece of artwork, you can contact me through the email address that's right under the video. That's expression. That's EASPBGallery at uh, gmail.com. I could put a little black in there somewhere, couldn't I? Maybe. That's just extreme. That's so cool. I'm, I'm really not, not unhappy with how that worked at all. And I'm going to torch. And I've got 10 seconds left and then two minutes to tell you guys everything that I want to tell you. So right in the 10 seconds, I'm going to add some paint to the end of this. And I'm going to study this while I tell you guys that I have Facebook groups. Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. And Expression to Start Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Expression to Start Studio Totes and More has my work through Shop Now button on... Fine Art America and Pixels.com and um, <laughs> I've been posting stuff there since 2013. I did mention I do sell my artwork. That's cool. I'm good with that. What else do I want? Just something this way. I'm so happy you guys joined me. If you're looking for tomorrow's video, you can often find it on the community board on my channel along with PayPal and Patreon links, which will allow you to donate $10 or more to get into the monthly drawing. And there are seven paintings, two books. My books are on the Amazon link. The first one is Because I Can. The second one is Unlimited Possibilities. And uh, there's a whole lot of other stuff there that's really cool. I recommend go in there just to check it out. Um, even if you're shopping at a regular store, it's nice to see what I've got there just in case you can find a good sale on something that might be really handy. A torch to release the bubbles in the paint because of the pouring medium, but my paint is left heavy because I have GAC 800 by Golden in it. The recipe, my recipe, is under the video, under Show More. I mentioned I'd like to have your thumbs up, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not going to say that again. There's all kinds of stuff. There's Teespring clothing of mine under the, underneath the video, and they have all over print t-shirts and uh, also all over print leggings, which are pretty awesome, to tell you the truth. Glad to, glad to share that piece of information with you. <laughs> I know, I'm foolish. So I'm liking this a lot. It's wild, but it's a really good wild. And I'm not sticking chain in there or any balloons or anything else. And I'm probably going to torch one more time. And it's, um, it just reminds me of Shazam from like old, old time cartoons from like a long time ago. So the black satin and the white satin enamel are making all kinds of cells pop like crazy. And my regular mixture is the same for the satin as it, satin and the gloss as it is for everything else that I do. I figured why leave that to chance, do what I know how to do. I love you guys, there's almost 85,000 of you. And one day, I expect there might be. I have playlists on my channel of 11, 11 genres like abstracts or scapes or orbs or flower gardens or, or all, just all 11. <laughs> and 10 lists of 100. So you guys take care. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Estate Studio Gallery. Learning something new every day and really liking my new zigzag right there. Shazam! <laughs> I think that's the name of this piece. Shazam! I'm going to have to call it Shazam on the video too. All right, you guys. Take care. This is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Estate Studio Gallery saying I love you guys and Priscilla out. I'm just going to keep touching up my edges and the last 20 seconds of the video